So there I was. I would say 7.30 p.m. <laughs> on a Saturday night. I'm going to the bathroom. I have to pee at this really packed bar. And I walk in and there's like two urinals and a stall. There's a guy at the urinal. So I'm like, I'm going to use the stall. And I start peeing. You know, this, I, when I pee in a stall, I, I close it, but I don't lock it. Sure. I'm just like standing there. You know, I, I don't. You know, it's going to be a quick piss. Yeah, yeah. I'm just like, so I'm peeing there. And then all of a sudden I hear someone walk in <laughs> because the men's room at this place, there was no line, but the women's line was massive. Sure. Like it was packed. So I hear someone walk in and then all of a sudden I get hit in the back with the door. <laughs> like they like pushed it in and it, I it, picture a kick <laughs> and it was like it was like this this black chick like loud strong black chick. Yeah. And she was like oh you're peeing in there. And I was like yeah it's the men's room. <laughs> and, it's like what would she have done if you were shitting in yeah, there. Yeah I don't she know but she literally just, in the door. you could see my feet. Yeah. And the other guy's at the urinal so she can't use the urinal I right. guess. Well that, she couldn't use the urinal at all. Yeah 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 so. <laughs> So I'm still peeing, and it, I will say it is a long piss because we had been day drinking at this point, we have, yeah. and I hadn't used the bathroom in a while, so it was a long piss. And I'm peeing, and it's like she's standing there just waiting, and she goes, "Was the door still open? She's just watching your back at this point." Well, so she pushed it in, so it's like it kind hits of, you. It, so it's like kind of, so she, I don't know if she can see me or not, but I'm like peeing, and then she, she literally says, she goes, "There's no way you're still peeing. Your dick ain't that big." <laughs> And I'm like, what? It doesn't. That's not my, how it works. It's my at bladder. All. <laughs> like I was like, okay, but I'm still peeing. So right. then I had to. Because also, it's hard to pay attention to other stuff while you're peeing. Like yeah. it, it's not fun to multitask while doing that. So Let then I have a strange woman watching dude, it you. Was, I was so confused. <laughs> I was like, what is happening? And then I leave to like wash my hands, and the other guy's finishing peeing too. And so she's talking to both of us, and she goes, "I have a strap on bigger than both of you, and I'll fuck you with." She it. Said, so now it's just threats. Yeah, and I was just like. I look at the other guys like, like we're in the men's room. <laughs> is he still, yeah, this yeah. is our safe place. Yeah, and she, she was. I think she was like talking to herself. She's like, I ain't waiting that line. I can pee where you guys. And it's just like the fact that she like said I had a small dick and then said she would fuck me with a strap on. Yeah, I was like, what is going on? That's because I was like pretty drunk at this point too. Because <laughs> we were day <laughs> drinking. That's not what you expected. <laughs> I was expecting a safe space. <laughs> Why in the past month have I had weird bathroom experiences? You have. Yeah. So have I. Oh, yeah. So have yeah. That like kids watch me shit. <laughs> Do people are people learning respect anymore? Like losing it? Yeah. It's fucking <laughs> dude. It's wild. The idea of going into another bath, like not your bathroom, yeah. and then also being a douchebag in that bathroom is a thought I yeah, cannot imagine. Even imagine if the roles were reversed. Right? Yeah. Kicking in doors. Kicking like a men going into a girl's bathroom, kicking in a door. Oh, you're still peeing. Oh, there's no way your clit's that big. <laughs> I'll fuck you. You're yeah. like God. Yeah, that's just assault. Yeah, yeah. Dude, that's what. <laughs> But I didn't. I, she was the powerful person in the bathroom. Yeah, she, like she was, was running just, that bathroom. Yeah, yeah. And we were just like, you had no power. Okay, and that is that's the type of strong women that I don't like. Sure, that's too strong. You don't like abrasive. Yeah, <laughs> like tell me what to do, but not like you're telling. Don't like, kick in the door yeah, while you do it. It was scary as it was hell. Scary easy. Yeah, <laughs> especially dude. It's, the scariest part was when the door just hit me in the yeah. back. Like I was like, what the yeah. fuck? Because you're also like. Anything, Who does that? Anything touching you while your dick is out is terrifying. Yeah, because my dick was in my hand. So I can't yeah. turn. Yeah. I can't touch things. Yeah, I can't stop. I have to s- still aim. And she started talking. And I was like, oh, man, I'm in, <laughs> for, a, I'm in for a treat. Uh, so that was that was one story from Saturday night. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how we're kicking off the Moist Monday podcast. Yeah, let's freaking get into it. Let's play some You Can Sex, episode 124. Woo! I think it's time for a taste test. Oh, taste test segment already. Play the graphic. <laughs> so for today's Moist Monday, we didn't know what to drink. So we went to a gas station. We found this thing called pirate water. Pirate water. I've never heard of it. But when we first saw it, I was like, that sounds disgusting. It's made by Barstool, which I guess it makes me think that it could be good, but I don't know why. Um, well, I've had a few things by Barstool that's decent, like Pink Whitney or whatever. Oh, they do that? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that. That's Barstool. Barstool. Um, it, that's, it's decent. One, one now, bite but, pizza review? But they make cheap party alcohol. They so know their place. Yeah, that's what I think this is. So Pink this Whitney's is, not bad, though. It, but it, it's not good. And it, that, it's you can better get that than like, UV, though. But you can get that for like 15 bucks. Yeah. Like, it's super cheap. Uh, this guy, we have two different flavors. 
they're both 10%. Which that's scary. Which is wild because it's just one can and both of these together were only five bucks. Yep. <laughs> so you know so, it's going to be good. If so, it's not bad tasting, might be worth it for a summer drink. Yeah, it might be worth it. Um, I have Miami Vice as a flavor. And I have Bahama Mama. And we're going to try both. I don't know. Like, what flavor is Miami Vice? Because I assume mine's orange and mango, just because it's like maybe peach. I don't and know. I, I'm assuming Miami Vice, like a tropical drink. I have no idea. Like a fruit punch. And I'm curious what the color is going to be like. So let's freaking try these. I'm so... Should we try one first? And then, like, you know what I mean? Like, try Miami Vice first, both of us? I think sip and swap. Sip and swap. Okay. Let's do a little pour here. Whoa, Miami Vice is... The color you'd expect. Yep, just red. All Ooh. Right, not bad. It actually, the color is the can. Yeah. That's okay. That's that's smart. Pirate water. Pirate water is red. So it looks like juice. Yep. So it might be good. All right. Cheers, cheers to bud. pirate water. <laughs> I don't think Jacob likes his. It's got an array of flavors. Mine tastes decent. It has like. I don't know what flavor I'm getting mainly, like a melon, like a can. Oh, this is cantaloupe, I think, is the main flavor in this. What? <laughs> That's a wild main flavor. Um, but also there's other flavors that I can't distinguish. Aftertaste is pretty rough on this one. This one's actually pretty smooth, but it, it's kind it of makes my, a, this makes my mouth dry. Yeah, no, it's got, <laughs> kind of like that chemically medicine-y, yeah. chalky kind of. My advice isn't bad. Like, I, I could drink a full one of these. I would not drink a full one of these, Bahama Mama. All right, Swip. Switch. I figure we switch cans. Oh, you don't want to? Okay. Well, let me try the Bahama Mama. Miami Vice definitely better. Oh wow. Bahama Mama. Yeah, it tastes like it's got a weird medicine-y aftertaste to me. That's not bad either, but it had it, it's definitely more like you get the cantaloupe flavor in that a little bit. Like it's like it's like a I don't know if cantaloupe's the right word, but it's melony. But it's yeah, not, but it's not watermelony. It's like that. It's like cantaloupe. Yeah, it kind of weird because I don't like cantaloupe, but it's not. It's super. It's just strong. like the sweetness yeah. of it. Yeah, which is not bad. This kind of tastes a little bit like banana. Sure. Um, this isn't. It's it, dude. I like how it's just malt beverage with artificial flavors. That's how you know it's good. Yeah, Jesus. What the hell's a malt beverage? I actually never know. What, that's, like, like, malt, that's like what cheap liquor is called. I malt think beverage. Like malt liquors. Yeah, I don't yeah. know what they actually are though. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean for two fifty. Yeah, for not two bad. fifty, not for bad. Temper- like if you if you're looking for a cheap way to get fucked up, that's, probably this. Yeah, yeah, that's not bad. But uh, Miami Vice, I think. I, I, was there other uh, flavors? Um, there might there was another red can. I don't know if it was still Miami Vice oh, or okay. if it was something else. Well, Barstool Sports. It's all right. <laughs> Middle of the road. Yeah, kind of just like them in general. I think so. Yeah, like, I do like them sometimes. I, I think so. I never watched their actual shit. I watched though. the shorts. I watched their one star pizza review. One star pizza reviews are that's great. great, and then also. The, the, that one comedian's with for them, right? What? Which one? The one that does awkward interviews. The oh, long-haired he? guy who wears the bolo tie. Oh yeah, he's Barstool. I, I love thought he Caleb. was Barstool. Yeah, yeah, Caleb, he, yeah, I like him. Yeah, and then there's also a really hot girl on there. All right, probably uh, Plan Bree Cut. I think her name is. No idea. It's like a username. Sure. She, yeah, she's super hot. Okay. I just know her from the clips. <laughs> All right. But um, speaking of knowing them from the clips, she, I'm Jacob. Oh, and I'm Robert, and you might know us from the clips <laughs> that don't get any views. Not, That's not a good bad. transition because right. I had nothing there related. I think I, one of my favorite comments I saw recently of like, I have chosen not to look into these guys, but I am forced to learn so much about them. Yes. So that means instead of we we don't pop up on a lot of. Like a lot of different feeds. I think we pop up on the same feeds, whether they like it or not. And I think that's so funny. Because I'm sure they like, they didn't maybe like it, but they watched the full thing of one. Yeah. So and now now we're just up. hammering. And he's like, I know so much about these guys that I don't give a fuck yeah. about. I mean, that's how clips are, though. Yeah, that's like, true. Like, I learn about these people that I'm like, I've never seen your show or yeah, I've never seen but this. But I'm a fan. But this guy is <laughs> this not, guy's a not a fan. But he's getting hammered with our content. I think yeah, that's so like, funny. Because some of the clips are like talking about how you like eating ass and yeah. like clown kings yeah like it's like now he knows super personal shit that he doesn't care about <laughs> that's so funny yeah now he's just we take up a small part of his brain he will never forget which is gonna be so funny dude if we ever do like pop where he's like i know so much about these guys <laughs> i hate them. i hate them so much um but i do have some breaking moist news i don't know really know if it's breaking uh. news but this morning, oh. and by this morning I mean this afternoon because I took a nap on accident. Yep. I registered for summer classes. 
Hell yeah, dude. We're back in the business, baby. There we go. We're back in. How's it feel? Nervous. Better. Better. It's got to feel better. Nervous, but I'm nervous. So yeah. I registered for I for three classes. Okay. Um, because I'm like, okay, let's ease into it. And also over summer, there's not many options. Sure. So I couldn't take some things. So, and what sucks is only one of my classes is in person. Oh. The other two are online. Sure. Which I might... <sighs> I might like because I've been really getting into working from home. Sure. Like freelancing and but stuff. But you just have to I just actually have to do, do it. it. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm taking um, studio photography. Sure. Which is what I signed up for last summer, but then dropped it because yes. I was overwhelmed. Um, and that one's in person. And that one should be really easy as yeah. long as I just show up. And you've been doing good at photography. Yeah. And, studio, and I know how to edit photos now, yeah. so it should be easy. Uh, the other one is one that I took my first semester, but then dropped it as well. Okay. Uh, small business startup. Okay. Which would, which, and that's online only, but that one should be really fun. That also could be just good for you to know for like us and shit yeah, too. And then this other one also applies to us mm-hmm. and then my other project, social media marketing. <sighs> that could be a game yeah, changer. If you can get be, good at that. Because they talk about how to grow on social media and how to like post and like, yeah, that's so going to be really be nice. Be ready to be seeing a lot more of us <laughs> <laughs> once we figure out how to do these hashtags everyone's talking about. Hashtag FYP. I tried sometimes it doesn't do anything, so I don't know. For your page, but also like. That's but so who searches it, FYP. I, I don't think anyone does. It's just everything on your page has that. So it just has a better. Ch- I don't understand I don't it know, all. But also I'm, TikTok's owned by the goddamn Chinese and they might be getting rid of it. Apparently yeah, TikTok, <laughs> they're getting rid of TikTok. They, they're but talking good about thing, it. We're available on Instagram, YouTube shorts and X. Oh, right. And threads. I don't We don't post our clips on threads. Oh, do we not? Well, don't, that's why we're not growing. Can you? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I should start. Start posting full episodes. See what happens. Dude, I don't know if you can. I think you can on X. Just a full two hour. I wonder but, how long. Well, with my internet, I wonder how long that would take to upload to X. Sure. Mr. Beast is doing it because he's <laughs> like, I'm making a ton of ad revenue on this. Yeah. No, I don't get it. I don't get it either. But, but you will. Our shorts don't do anything on X. I believe we give, like, it. Two yeah. views. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because X doesn't have the platform for like shorts. You I have know? no idea. I don't. I've never really used Twitter or X. I don't really use I it. I have at, one, I think. But uh, I don't. it is wild that porn is just allowed on Twitter. That is weird. Like yeah. sometimes I'm just scrolling on like the aiming off the grid Twitter page yeah. and then it's just randomly just a butthole. Yeah. And I'm just like, what the fuck is this? Like I'm reading about like n- gaming shit. Yeah. Because that's all the pages we follow. And then it, what's weird about Twitter is it puts stuff in your feed that you don't From gaming follow. to gang banging. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm into this, but not right now. <laughs> I don't want to see this right don't now. Don't cross the wires. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I look at that stuff when I'm in a safe space. Now when yeah. I'm waiting in line at the Taco Bell. That's no. true. Yeah, like, that is even, the issue too. Yeah, it's like, God damn it. I remember my phone used to have a home screen thing yeah. where like, if you scrolled to the left, but it would also include your Tumblr. And my Tumblr was just porn. Well, doesn't your photo still do that? Th- doesn't your phone still do that with photos? Like uh, it just like randomly will have a couple of photos on your homepage. Or no, those are ones I've set. Oh, those are yeah, ones they you aren't set. random. Oh, because that's what I'm like. Oh, this penis. Yep. <laughs> that's a photo of my cock from two years ago that I saved to my homepage because it was a good photo. <laughs> Best it's ever looked, baby. And that's, and that's my. It's pre- all downhill from and here. And that's my pre-COVID dick. <laughs> it's gained a few pounds since then. Jesus. <laughs> right, what, what, if, what if your dick oh. got like a beer belly? I mean, that's what a fupa is. No, but it, your actual dick. Oh, I think people would enjoy that, wouldn't it? I don't know, but just on the like underside, just a little lump. It might, you might need to go to the doctor. Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> those aren't real. So if you have one, go see help. Um, but it's time for a segment. And this segment I've been wanting to talk to you about for a couple weeks now. Okay. But I'm like, I have to wait for the podcast because it's a segment. Yeah. And I hope you don't know anything about it. Okay. So play the intro for Robert's Actual Fun Facts. All right, hit me with it. Okay, so we'll first start off asking you, have you ever heard of Scud, the disposable assassin? Yeah, I own his complete... Fuck! Yeah, I, <laughs> Fuck! I own his complete series. God damn it. Yeah. I was so excited. Written by Rob Schraub. Yeah, yeah, damn it, he knows about no, it. No, I own every copy of it. I didn't know you owned it. Yeah. <laughs> well, guess what? I own a copy that's signed. Really? Yep. By who? By Rob Schraub. Hell yeah! How'd you get that? He sent it to me directly. Nope. Wait, did he? he? Yeah, he did. What? His home address is on the envelope. What? Yeah. Why are you in talk with Rob Schraub? Well, because you can just buy it on his website. Oh, okay. We have two of them hanged in the game room now. Did Wes know about it? Yeah, so here's how I discovered it. Oh, okay. It. So for the people listening at home, I have all these facts, because I was hoping Jacob didn't know about it. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn it. It's a science fiction comic written by Rob Schraub, hmm? which ever heard of him? Probably Jacob not. Jacob has. I'm a big fan. Uh, but it's a world where you can buy a robot assassin from a vending machine. Mm-hmm. That's basically it. 
ran from 1994 to 1998, and then there were four more issues released in 2008 to finish the story. Mm-hmm. There is also Scud spinoffs. Did you know about this? I don't. I'm not positive. I haven't read the whole There were four different comic book series that take place under the Scud universe that were spinoffs. Okay. There's La Cosa Nostroid. Okay. There's Drywall Unzipped. Okay. The Drywall and Oswald Show. And then Scud, Tales from the Vending Machine. Hmm. Don't know anything about those. Okay. But on top of all that, Scud was also turned into two video games. I did, did not you, know Yes, that. I knew you wouldn't know this part. Huh. So, they both came out in 1997. The first one was Scud, the Disposable Assassin for the Sega Saturn. Cool. The other one is Scud, Industrial Evolution for the PC. I've never played Industrial Evolution, but let me tell you about the Sega Saturn one. Okay. Because this is how we discovered this whole fucking rabbit hole. When did you connect the dots of who made it? When we did this episode. Like, okay. So we a few weeks ago on Game After Grade, we released an episode, Sega Saturn Light Gun Buying Guide. Okay. Where we dove into every single Light Gun game available for the Sega Saturn. All right. And there was like 12 of them. We even talked about Japanese only games. Mm-hmm. But Scud, shockingly, was North American only release. Okay. And it's actually surprisingly cheap for a CIB copy, like 45 bucks for the Saturn, which is okay. really cheap because it's Saturn. So Scud, what's really cool about this game is it's a one to two player run and gun game. Okay. Or a one to two player light gun game or a one person light gun game with two light guns. Cool. Or a one person running gun, one person light gun game. Really? Yes, dude. This game is phenomenal. That's so interesting. So Wes and I. Have you ever heard of a game doing that? No. This game is phenomenal. Huh. The 90, the soundtrack, incredible. Sure. Very 90s, very dirty, very awesome. The gameplay is so great. Wes and I are working on a co-op no death run on one player running gun, one player light gun. So I sure. play as Scud yeah. doing the running gun, and then Wes is using the light gun as like my sniper. Okay. So he's shooting bad guys on the screen. But while, he's not on the screen. But he's not on the screen. Can while, anything hurt him? No, so he, he nothing can hurt him. Okay. But he can there's health and shit, and if he shoots it, he gets it, but it doesn't so he's basically robbing me of health. So we've learned to <laughs> not do that. Yeah. Sure. But it's Dude, I've never played a game like it. It's incredible. Huh. It's really hard. Cool. It's so fun. And we it's just a freaking blast. So we were like, when we were doing research, it was the last one on our list. And we were like, okay, North American only like on game. Scud, never heard of it. This game's probably going to suck. And yeah. now it's my biggest gaming discovery ever. Interesting. Like, dude, I am obsessed yeah, with I'll it. have to come play it sometime. It, it is phenomenal. Have you read the comics at all? Like, do you know the actual story of Scud? I don't. So he's the disposable assassin because he bought... He's bought from a vending machine and given a target. And then he blows up when he's dead. Right? Yeah. yeah. So during the first like thing of the comic book is he finds out that he's going to die if he finishes this mission. Okay. So now he he like basically kills who he's supposed to, but now he's keeping them alive. So then he doesn't die. So he die. stays alive. So That's now cool. he has to like cool. figure out how to keep them alive, like fund it, like all that kind of stuff. So it's him like wanting to live. I we only have issues one and ten. I own the whole series. But they're both signed by Rob Schraub. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Which is cool. fucking cool. So, Christmas gift idea for you. I was going <laughs> to give you the whole set, but I'm like, God damn it, you already have it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, we have them both framed in the game room. I do want to read the story because I'm so invested. Mm-hmm. And I'm curious about the PC game. Sure. Like, I'm wondering how that works. Yeah, if it's similar at all. Because, or just dude, completely different. It's no, I never so knew in, they made a video it's game. It's so insane how good it is, too. And the yeah. variety of gameplay. Is it funny? It's, it's, I mean, it's, there are quirks to it. Okay. Um, but it's mostly just gameplay sure. and there are like there's platforming parts that are a little tough and it is weird there's one level where there's like a T-Rex that comes out for some reason sure it's wild doesn't make sense but it is a fun fucking game because hmm. also Scud was the inspiration for Mr. Meeseeks damn it that was part of my yep. fun fact too yeah, yeah. for Rick and Morty yeah yep. he was in, he was a rip off well because Rob Schraub and Dan Harmon are best friends yes. and, and then, Rob Schraub writes for Rick and Morty he recently wrote their worst episode oh really yeah the um the Ice T. Do you remember that episode? Oh, with Rick and yeah, Rick and Morty. Yeah, well, yeah. they did a sequel to it on the new season. It's the worst episode of Rick and Morty. Why ever. did they do a sequel to that one? I don't know, but Rob Schraub wrote it. I was really sad. God, that's like <laughs> because Rob Schraub is great. I know. Damn. So I was hoping you didn't know anything about this. I knew a lot about it, yes, <laughs> but not about the video game, no, which is what inspired know. me to learn about it. Okay. And then also, did you know that they tried making it into a movie and a TV show? I knew he had talked to people they about both the rails. Yeah. Um. It is also referenced in a few pop culture things. Okay. So, obviously, you already mentioned uh, Mr. Meesex yep. from Rick and Morty. But then also, the biggest reference is in the show Community. Okay. So, the first issue of the comic appears in Advanced Dungeons & Dragons. Oh, cool. And then, 
Scud himself is in the background of the episode G.I. Jeff. Oh, sure. That makes sense. Which I don't remember that episode, but so... That's the one where that takes place in the G.I. Joe cartoon. Oh, world. so Scud himself is actually in the yeah. back. Well, and Rob Schraub voices, uh, fuck, who's the villain in G.I. Joe? Oh, I don't remember. Oh, he voices the villain. That's yeah, cool. The one who wears the dumb yeah. Dude, mask the and skull. Stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That's fucking badass. Not the skull. That's He-Man. Oh, that's He-Man. Yeah. yeah he I wears the snake people. I don't fucking I'd remember. I recognize it. I wasn't a, he- or a G.I. Joe kid. I had one growing up. One G.I. Joe. Yeah, I had a few. One. <laughs> one. But then my sister really took them to play with the Barbies because they fit all that shit. But isn't that fucking wild? Mm-hmm. The game, the, the game, I've been telling everybody about it. Highly recommend it. I think our buddy Nathan Harsh. When we told him about it, he bought it on eBay. Like he got it, and he goes, "This game's hard," and like it is very hard. <laughs> Jacob's pouring more of this pirate water. I'm also spilling it all over. <laughs> I feel like this is a good party drink. I think so. Like or it, like if you just want to go out and don't want to spend money, have a couple of these. Yeah, tons good. Ten percent each. <laughs> yeah, I mean I, that's like I feel like the point of like a beatbox and shit like that. Yeah, is that's just all, to get fucked up. Just get like it's not for flavor. It's yeah. just drink it fast. It has a job. You're supposed to pound them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You imagine shotgunning a pirate water. That'd be uh, horrible. I would say Bahama or Miami Vice much better. Yeah, it's so much better. Yeah, but I'll drink them both. If well, you want some more of that, you yeah, I'll take it. some more pirate water. <laughs> um, but it's a hard game to begin with, but it's kind of short. Okay. And the second level, you have to go through these like corridors. Mm-hmm. But when you first play it, if you don't go through the right path, it loops you. Cool. But you don't know what the path is. Cool. So the first time I played it, I got looped three times, and I was like, <laughs> I thought the game was broken. Yeah. Like I was like, I've already been here. <laughs> But then I figured out the path and I got through it and I'm getting pretty good at it. But the frustrating thing is at the very end, we had, we got through it like we died once maybe. Nice. And at the very end, you have to get this, there's this nuke that comes down and you have to shoot it up this platform. But I had no idea what to do. And then also if you, it's on a timer. Okay. When the timer gets out, game, game over. over. Yeah. We had six credits. <laughs> it just ends. That sucks. Yeah. So we finally did beat it on a one credit. We died once, one credit clear, but we're working on a no death run. Nice. And it is because there's nobody's no death ran it. <laughs> cool. Like when you look it up, you can barely find gameplay. Like well, that's how small of a game it you is. You could probably reach out to Rob Traub too about it. Yeah. I, well, if we would no death run it with the run and lighting, I mm-hmm. might send it to him. Yeah. No, I, mean, I guess I feel like he's a lower level that you could actually reach out to him about. Yeah, shit I mean, and he, he would respond. He fucking sent it. It was like the envelope was Rob Schraub with his like California address. Wild. And then he signed it. Yeah. Like he must just have extra in, in his inventory. Mm-hmm. But it's just like, it's so, like, immediately when we discovered it, we were like, bought it, fucked yep. it, comic books. <laughs> well, yeah, now you guys can join my obsession on Rob Schraub. Oh, it's so cool. Dude, it, you got to play Scud. Yeah, I want to. And, uh, man, the soundtrack. I'll have to, now you make me want to just actually read all the comics. I've read the first few issues. I wonder how, yeah, I'm, I wonder how close it, like, this game is to sure, it. Sure. Because it's called the same thing. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I wonder if it's just little bits and pieces from the comics that they kind of just put into a game. And then if you play as Drywall... It's a different experience because he's shorter okay. and he has different guns and stuff. So the versatility in that game is wild. <laughs> it's like so like I'm like, what is this? Blew my freaking mind when I discovered it. Interesting. <laughs> Scud. Yeah. Check out Rob Schraub's stuff. <laughs> he will be your bud. That's what, that's what Wes always parodies the song. What? One of the songs in the game is like, oh. Scud, and, but it's like a punk song. And he goes, Scud, he'll be your bud, <laughs> which is so funny. <laughs> But that was Robert Sexual. Fun facts. Nice. I guess I have a small story from this week because I went on another work trip. Oh, yeah. You, I to, feel like you're going on work trips like every week now. Well, now that it's spring, yeah, we are. God, that, that sucks. Yeah, I'm hoping it slows down by summer. But and yeah. also you have no employees, so it's just like you, you It's have to, me every yeah, time. Yeah, it's go. just me. But yeah, this was when we went to the St. Louis Uptown, which location-wise, probably my favorite Uptown I've been to so See, far. See, this is wild because I, I thought real- Milwaukee was the best. I, I know Minneapolis does the best. Milwaukee's very cool. Oh, Minneapolis does the best? Yep, like it has the best business, yep. Is, is it in a cool area in Minneapolis? They're all in decent areas, because they're all kind of in like the more hipstery part, Yeah, which, that, which makes, makes sense. sense yeah. Yeah. I mean, the Milwaukee one's on the water, so it's like a rougher area, but it's a lot of foot traffic. Well, but also, I've been to the Milwaukee one a ton, and I'm going there in a few weeks. Yep. Um, I don't know if there's any other bars nearby. I would assume so. It's on the water. Oh, I guess so. When I always go there, we just go there. Like, I've never walked around that area. Sure. Because my favorite area in Milwaukee is the PBR district. Yeah. That's that, a good that one. That place is awesome. Because you got all the breweries and then there's restaurants. And yeah. It is interesting to go to all these cities and just know it's like, ooh, it's getting rough out here. Yeah. <laughs> it has St. Louis doing. Yeah. It, St. Louis <laughs> and Milwaukee were rough. How are those arches doing? 
I didn't see it. I was pissed. <laughs> Can't you see it from the interstate? I don't know. I didn't pay attention <laughs> during that part. But then once I was there, I was like, well, all right, where is it? And they're like, it's back there. I was like, fuck. They're like, I'm going to back this truck into an alley. <laughs> Learned my lesson that time. All right. But the only like notable thing that happened was when we were moving games into the bar, it was, we had to go through like their kitchen area. And for some reason there was like a lower hanging roof. But we could still like fit stuff under it, but like skimmed it a little bit, or like certain ones would. And there was a ladder above it, this, like like a full ladder. Like okay. I have a picture of it that I'll send to you. And when we slid one of these games under it, the ladder just I, afterwards I looked at it. I don't know what it was hooked onto, but it fell and just right into my forehead. Oh, took metal me out the um, ladder yeah. free fell into Jesus. my. I felt like a wrestler in that yeah. moment. Did but it like, hurt? I went no, so I went down. I popped back up, and my coworker was like, "Really?" Where I was like, "Didn't hurt." I'm just. I'm sure it will. It did not hurt at all. Like it hit me it in moving. the forehead. I was like, "Yeah, that was a very much." Luckily, like, you didn't hit me in the eye. Yeah, <laughs> just fucking blood. Like, You're wearing an eye patch in this episode. I had a lump. And like it bruised a little, not horribly, <laughs> but like I was definitely noticing I was getting really irritable later. And then my neck started to like stiffen yeah, up just from the like yeah, it just being pushed down because it right. I mean, here. dude, that's your pro wrestler. Now. I, <laughs> I popped right back. I sat up like <laughs> like the Undertaker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's so loud when he just sits like that. That's scary as hell. Yeah, it probably gives him a head rush every time. You could you could be a part of a TLC match, dude. There you go. Yeah, T- tables, ladders, and chairs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how they do some of that shit. Me neither, because it did hurt eventually, but it didn't hurt for a while. I was like, keep going. Yeah. Don't don't I'm even like, pay I, I just picture you popping up. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Like but you, also, you just, like if you would go fast enough, it doesn't. You're not embarrassed, right? <laughs> and also, but also, it wasn't my fault at all. And then the ladder also, like after it bounced off my forehead, it knocked over like four or five empty kegs. Oh, so it was the, the loudest, loudest thing, thing ever. It'd be no. awesome if you were just still laying there and everyone's yeah. like, "What was that noise?" No, oh, he just got hit by a ladder. No one from the bar checked out what happened. Like nobody. The manager was like right on the other side of like the hallway. What the, that's because it probably falls all the time. Yeah, but it took me out. Why do they need a ladder? I don't know. That's a good point. Yeah. But I looked after. I was like, I have no idea what it's connected to. I'll show you the like. It's a real ladder. It was just on the wall, or like I, I guess. But there was no hooks. Or I didn't see a hook afterwards. They just have it like angled. Like it was a ladder that hit me in the head. Yeah, that's that's a twenty footer, dude. That's a that's a Not re- twenty footer, but it's a probably like twelve 15? or to fifteen. Yeah, that's still a, that's a ladder. Yeah. it's not a six footer. No, you you could check the gutters with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you could clean out your fucking yep. gutters with that. Took me out. <laughs> that's wild, dude. Yeah, that's the only big thing that happened to me during the work trip. Damn. <laughs> I mean, I I do have a an update on my sleep anxiety that I've already told you about. <laughs> oh my god, this gave me nightmares, dude. Because my biggest my my biggest fear came, came true. into fruition. Yeah. So over the weekend. I stayed at my parents' house because my scissors were in town, but my parents are gone. So I was like, okay, I'll come over Party and hang, up with your hang out. Yeah, yeah. And just hang out. We can actually enjoy it, you know, without our parents and stuff like that. So Friday night, we stayed up a little bit late. We're watching New Girl. Nice. One of my sisters go to, goes to bed, and then I'm like, okay, I'm going to go to bed. And when I stay at my parents, I sleep on the couch in the living room, which is like right next to the front door, basically, so I can see it from the couch. Sure. So I'm already used to sleeping by the front door because I do it every day at my place. Right. So I've gotten over that fear. Um, but I'm laying in bed. A chosen I'm, fear, yeah, by the way. Yeah. You could you could sleep in your bedroom. Comfort, dude. Comfort yeah. over fear. That's I what I always say. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I always say. I've always said that. Um, but I'm laying there. I'm on my phone, you know, because I I can't just go to bed. I got to be on my phone for an yeah. hour, and I don't know why. Which just keeps you up. Yeah. An hour. And then I can't fall asleep. You could fall asleep if you didn't and have your phone. It's harder to fall asleep. Yep. Yeah. But I'm on my phone <laughs> and then all of a sudden I hear this massive fucking bang. It sounded like it came from upstairs, but my sister was in the living room and she said it sounded like it came from the front door. <laughs> and it's, it sounded like someone dropped a desk. Okay. Like it was like, boom. <laughs> like it like shook. Like it was like. <laughs> you I felt was, it. I yeah. was like, what the hell was that? <laughs> and Annie was upstairs and she didn't move or anything. So I was like, okay. And then we both checked out the front door. Nothing was there. And I was like, okay, maybe something just fell over, you know. <laughs> but no one's talking about yeah, it. Yeah, just <sighs> right, go just back some to normal. Just kegs fall over, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no someone, one cares. Got, someone got hit by a fucking ladder <laughs> upstairs and nobody noticed. <laughs> um, so I, w- I went back to my phone. My sister went back to watch a new girl. And She's like, like, who's that girl? <laughs> <laughs> who's that girl? It's ladder. <laughs> 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 um, but I, 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 I go back to bed. Or go back on the couch and I'm on my phone and no joke, like 30 minutes later. So it was a while. Ugh. So I was calmed down. Yeah. And I was like re- falling asleep yeah. again. And at this point, 1 a.m. maybe. And then I just hear 
Like two, that probably oh, scared yeah. Izzy. Yeah, Izzy's gonna come. <laughs> um, but two massive knocks, <laughs> and these came from the front door. She's so scared of the other room now. I thought <laughs> <laughs> that didn't mean that was the best way to establish. <laughs> but it was, and these were they weren't as loud as the first bang, but they were more direct. They were for sure in the front door, and they were. It sounded like someone punched the front door twice. Like it was scary as fuck. So your biggest fear? <laughs> yeah, my biggest fear, and I was like, someone's at the front door, and then my sister. <laughs> Which this is not what I would do ever. Turn on the lights <laughs> and walk to the front door. And our front door has two windows on the side of my parents' house yeah. with no curtains. Okay. So I'm like, when you turn the lights on, they can see you clearly, whoever it is, and you can't see out. So I, and then she, she turned on the lights and then just opens the front door. I like to think that you just immediately hit the floor and you're like crawling I, around. Well, I stay in the shadows in that point. <laughs> I at least got up because I was like, I'm not alone here. Yeah. But she just opened the front door. I'm like, what are you doing? You don't know what's out there. Because you've gotten grabbed immediately. Yeah. And I was like, close the door. And then I was like, shut the lights off. So we, like, we hood him. The, and that Annie got up the, at this point because she was like, what was that? And I was like, they don't know what's happened so much. Because you're the older sister. She's such an old man, too. Yeah, it's she, so funny. Yeah. Like, like, she, ain't afraid, her, she, she ain't afraid to just. Like, she is not afraid. I learned that this weekend, yeah. too. We'll get into that. But like, I picture her in like a Scrooge like nightgown holding like a candle at this point. Which just like, who is out there? Yeah. But she came boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Hello? Well, she's a baseball. Like, <laughs> yeah. But I was so freaked out. <laughs> I showed the lights and I kept like standing behind the door, creeping my head out the window to look. Anything out there? I didn't see anything. I assume it was punk kids. Like <laughs> the pranking. street youths. So then my sister came downstairs and then we just sat in the living room, like right next to the, or the dining room, right next to the front door in complete darkness, just like kind of scouting. What you guys, like, were you doing anything? We were just it? talking at this point. Like I, I told him about your curse from the yeah. knocking. <laughs> And like, if you want to learn more about that, listen to Here for the Knocks. Yeah, <laughs> fucking terrifying. That's what I thought. <laughs> for a month and a half because someone knocked on my I just door. Kept, and then I kept like pacing because I was like, I want to catch these fuckers. <laughs> and and I, do what? Well, I, I was like, it, 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 this is not how I would act when I was alone, but I was <laughs> like, I just want to grab him. Yeah. Because like, I pictured it being some punk kid. <laughs> so I just want to like, if I want to like be ready. So if he well, comes and knock again, he beat the shit out but of if you. I, but if like he goes and knock and open the door and grab him, that's <laughs> and your, then what? I don't know. But I was in, but I was in the mindset of like, I'm going to teach this guy a lesson because he yeah, scared me. You're going to get the shit kicked out of you by a child. Yeah. That's, that's what's going to happen. Luckily, they didn't knock again. Because the amount of 15-year-olds that could beat us up is a real and you bummer. Know it's, and you know it's a group. Sure. Yeah. It's not just no, one. It, one. Or if kid it's is, one, it's a fucking psychopath. Yeah. And he's having a blast. Yeah. And this is like, what's wild is my parents live like in a somewhat nice area. Very bougie. And on a yeah. dead end street. Yeah. So like you had, and it's a wild to get down there. Mm -hmm. So it's like, but it's like a cul-de-sac kind of. So it's like, uh, I was so scared. I eventually, like, I, I still like shit that night because I eventually just fell asleep in the chair I was sitting on. And my just, sister fell asleep on the couch next to me because we were like, we're we're we got to partner up. Yeah. <laughs> Did your other sister go back? Yeah, my other sister like, went back upstairs. She's like, well, it's been, it's been like 30 minutes. That's the one that's not afraid to die either. Though. Yeah, she went upstairs. Yeah. And I was like, you're safe up there. If they come in, there's two of us here. Mm -hmm. And then you're upstairs yeah, through you're a the door. Yeah, Yeah. But they never did. And then we came back Saturday night from going out in the bars, which we'll get to. And I, I told my sisters, I was like, if it happens again, I'm going home. Yeah. <laughs> like, I was like, I'm leaving you both here. I was like, if, if knocking happens again, I'm going to leave. And they were like, I don't blame you. <laughs> Which is not a manly thing to say to my younger sisters. No, to two women in a big house alone. Yeah, I'm just like, <laughs> you're on your own. Yeah. Bye. You guys have to stay here. Yeah, you, you get funny gamed. Luckily, yeah, that's what I was scared of yeah. too. I was scared it was going to be people in white shorts coming yeah, in. And, playing golf. Yeah. Like I was in the neighborhood. I'm like, what? I mean, there's a golf course kind of nearby, I think. That's true, yeah. yeah. Glen Oaks or whatever. Is that a golf course? I think so. Yeah, they have a golf yeah. course. Yeah, because they live in a fence community. A gated community. A gated community. You need a password Piece to get in. Piece of shits. Yeah. But it was, deliver. dude, it's my biggest freaking fear. It sucked. <laughs> and the, and, my, and that house is so big yeah. that I'm just like, oh, man. You can't even like, yeah, you'd have to do so many laps to hit every room. Yeah. And like the back door, you can access like the back door is in the basement and you can access by going around the house. Okay. So they could just maybe come through the back door and then yeah. they're in the basement and I don't know. And then it's freaky as hell. Freaky as hell. I do not when I have to watch the cat, which I am doing right now. Yeah, I do not stay there. Sure, I'll it's go too for big. I'll go there for a few hours. Yeah. but I will not be able to fall asleep because it's too scary. Like even this house would be too big when I'm home alone. Sometimes if I'm and spooked, and it freaks it's like, you out. Like, God, there's like six rooms I have to look into. And this and my parents is like way more. Yeah, three times yeah. this probably. Yeah, like, probably. It's like, and but for, what would you do? Go upstairs. That's probably what I would do is I would go upstairs in your bedroom and close the door. So then because your stairs are loud enough, sure, you know. But then you're stuck. 
Well, you got the window to the roof. I guess. And I have like a machete up there. Yeah. That's it, I think. Just bring all four cats and just sit there with a and machete. all five machetes. <laughs> yeah. That's ready. like what I would do. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> Except I don't have the cats and I don't have the machetes. No, so you're I'd be there with a sword. Yeah. <laughs> This says best man. <laughs> I'm going to get you. I'm going to grab you and teach you a lesson. That is start spanking a 15-year-old. <laughs> with a sword? No, oh, no okay. I meant with, yeah. <laughs> with a sword. Because that, that's something I've thought about. Like, if I caught someone, like, breaking into our cars, because that's happened here yeah, before. That happens, yeah, that happens here a lot. I don't know what I'd, like, and, like, I don't know if I would chase them or not. Yeah, what do you do in that situation? Because they're probably, they're expected or expecting probably someone to They've get probably him. gotten into more fights than me. Yeah. When they probably know how to fight better than me. And yeah. what are you going to confront him with? Yeah. Like and this. also, what am I going to get out of this? Yeah, exactly. You're just going to probably get your ass kicked. Yeah. And come out with a black eye and be like, I tried. Yeah. I and defended our cars, now sweetie. Now two blocks away and bleeding. Yeah, and now barefoot. I'm fucked, yeah. <laughs> Limping home. Just pissed. <laughs> well, I gave it a good college try. <laughs> he took my shoes. <laughs> And he took whatever was in the car. Yeah, that would suck. Just get your ass kicked when you're in the right. Yeah. That sucks That's so bad. That's happened. Probably. Yeah. Because I'm not a tough guy. No. I get my fucking ass kicked. No, I would like, because my only plan if I get in a fight is to go full chimpanzee. It just starts, dude, I can see you fucking like crouching down on your knees it's just and like just start fucking the, hopping. Yeah. Dude, freaking they, them out, getting in their head. That would be scary. And you Probably, start, and dude, I can see you like get you, naked if, immediately. Well, if, you, if you're wearing a hat, you take off your hat and then you just start patting your top of your sure. head. <laughs> I... I bet that way, burying my teeth, yeah. throwing dirt around. <laughs> I would be like, oh, no. <laughs> Not today, Satan. Like, that would be so scary. And I just immediately try to bite their thumbs off. That's what they fucking do. Because they know be, what's important to us. It's thumbs. They so, know that's what set thumbs apart from the rest of the yeah, world. You, how would you open doors? Yeah. It'd be hard. How would you play PS4? Yeah, you couldn't. That well, sucks. they make that weird circular thing. Have you ever seen those? Circular thing? It's like a controller for like different disabilities and stuff oh i guess i haven't seen that That's yeah cool. it's interesting it's like uh oh weird but it like depending on how you turn it and stuff it, yeah and like the where like you can just more use every finger for different buttons and stuff it's interesting okay so it's kind of like a converted keyboard kind of a little yeah bit. where at that point i would be like just use a keyboard i feel like would be easier because it's just more buttons yeah it depends yeah that would that, i guess i never thought about that. that would suck it's an interesting market i mean there's people who have like have hooked up like gaming computers to like their breathing tubes yeah, and, I mean, can, that, that and is, they're good. That's really nice though, because then they can escape. Yeah, I mean that's can, why I use video games to escape the world. Yeah, and then they can like truly escape everything. Yeah, yeah, that would be that's really cool. It's actually, I've never super, thought about that. But there's also like people who, like hook it up to a flute. Yeah, that's insane. Play, yeah, I've, yeah, I've seen people like mod Guitar Hero and play it like on weird shit. Yeah, I don't understand any of that. People way smarter than me. Yeah, but also doing dumb shit. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to learn if you ever go on a you ever get in a fight and lose your thumbs. That's true. I'll have God. to play a flute. Yeah, no more Borderlands. <laughs> the way you know it. But yeah, there's a weird... I've seen them at like game stores where it's like a pod of buttons more so. Whoa. Super interesting. I wonder what it'd be like to play that just like... Probably hard to Yeah. Because you're like, just give me a controller. Yeah. <laughs> but for them, it's not an option. Right. That sucks. <laughs> well, I'm glad but, there's... Uh, yeah, I'm glad option. that's yeah. really cool there is. That's really cool. It's been about three weeks since the uh, floor turned into lava. It's still lava. That's weird, yeah, what but that? really freaking cool. And or blood loss, you are going to start feeling a little woozy. Have a special guest today. Okay, <laughs> that is a that is a businessman that will be joining us to talk about his new business. Uh, I want everybody to welcome Ball and Bert. Hi, Bert. How you doing? <laughs> you got Ball and Bert here with a new business. I, I'm a, I'm a businessman. I'm here to sell my ideas. Uh, today, I want to pitch to you, okay. or or see if you're interested, or just see if your views are interested in Ball and Bert's broke business business secrets. All right. So we have VHS tapes, and I just. We recently launched a web series okay. giving you secrets on how to ball it, ball out booze and businesses. <laughs> secrets. 
Did that make sense? You said some bees there, yeah. Well, let me let me just let me just give you the the rundown. Give me the pitch. Give, give me, me the, the elevator rundown. pitch. Have you ever wanted to go out of the town and have fun, but you are broke? Yeah, sometimes. Well, I have secrets for you. Okay. These are secrets to go out and have fun while you're broke. Because, you know, Bowen Burke, you know, I look like this and I'm a pretty cool guy, but sometimes I've been down on my luck and sometimes I'm broke. But sometimes <laughs> I like to ball out and sometimes I like to have fun. Right. So these are my secrets to ball out and have fun. All right, first secret on the board. First thing, it's going to seem normal, but most people overlook it. Pre-game. <laughs> pre-game, pretty cool. You just, <laughs> it's actually a pretty, pretty, cool. pretty cool business secret. You know, before you go out in the town, drink a few beers, have a few shots at home. That's going to save you a ton of money. How much do you think? I probably... Enough to start a business. Okay. And that's, you know, that's that's actually the secret on how I started this business because I saved so much money by doing these. I, I, do, I do have a lot of secrets to tell you. I'm only going to give you a few <laughs> okay. to get the rest of them. You'll have to buy the VHS collection. Okay. Which is cool because I put a lot of money into it and I need to get that money back. There we go. Next up. This is actually a fun one. And I do this every time I go out is you bring a flask. <laughs> kind of illegal, but okay. I don't know. I did it on Saturday and it was fine. <laughs> <laughs> But this is fun. So you could you bring a flask, fill it up with your favorite type of liquor, malt liquor. I love malt liquor. Ballin, <laughs> ballin, cheaper. Ballin Bert loves his his malt liquor. So this is more of a post game pre game because it's still your at home alcohol. Oh, well, these are the secrets that I can give oh, away yeah, for yeah. free. Right. Yes. Yeah. And then the, this is when this is when things get cool, you know, because you're out and about. And um, so when you're out and about, and maybe your flask is empty, you're feeling good. Maybe you got a little bit more of that liquid courage in you. This is this is when you get fun with it. Okay. So depending on what bar you are, some bars have name tags. Pretty cool. Sure. So just steal a name tag from an employee. This okay. works. This works very well. Okay. Steal a name tag from an employee, put it on, and then go around and collect people's glasses, collect people's drinks, because most of the time people don't finish their drinks. And guess what? You're Ball and Bert. You'll finish them drinks for him. That's free drinks of charge, and you're helping the business now. Just take the last sip of everything, just yeah. the water, the ice melt and spit. Sometimes you got to look out for some chewing tobacco. Sure. But it does give you a little rip, <laughs> and I like the way it feels. <laughs> it's pretty cool, actually. But those are those are all the secrets that I can give you for free. I do have some others that I'll give you teasers for, but you can only get if you buy or call this number right now. The number will be on the screen. 1-800-BALL-AND-BERT. Call now. The first 30 callers will get my secrets to the biggest and best bar business broke hacks. Things such as five minutes of pleasure for a shot of Jameson. What? I'm not going to tell you what that is. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what that is unless you purchase this business plan. And then the bathroom hangout, my personal favorite. This is a great way to get really cheap drinks and maybe meet some friends. But you will only figure out what the bathroom hangout is, is if you call this number right now. And that's Bo and Bert. Um, I got to go pitch the other podcast. So thanks for having me. Absolutely. Keep on balling. Any out more there. questions? Uh, nope. Not a one. Please get out of here. <laughs> he doesn't like me. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back. That was interesting. Yeah. Where were you? Um, I think I was running the edits on okay, that. Okay, <laughs> gotcha. Because he was like, hey, I'll pay you. I'll pay you some cash if you put like that banner and shit. God, who's buying VHS tapes in 2024? <laughs> I did like, though. He would. He talked fast, and he was motivating me to get my business started up. So that's there cool. you go. What's your business? This. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> Telling stories. <laughs> you know, social media marketing. There we go. Yeah, all that <laughs> studio photography. Dang, Jacob's really drinking this pirate water. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna mix them. I'm sure it'll be exactly the same. Well, we need to talk about our weekend. Yeah, we, we uh, did a little balling ourselves yeah, out in the town. We did a ball, and actually. Um, this is before I even knew Bert, but one of those ideas I've done yeah. and I did this weekend. Wow. Pretty cool. Pays for itself. It does. <laughs> I, I would, I would highly recommend Ball and Bert's booze and business secrets. VHS tapes. Yes. It's a, it comes in a cool box set actually. All Very right. colorful. So this weekend <laughs> yeah. we are, we just celebrated our St. Patty's day weekend. Yes. Where happy late St. Patty's everybody. I initially did not plan on going out. I woke up like not in a bad mood, but not in the mood to go out and drink. And then Izzy calls me and says, Robert's here. Oh, she called you? Yeah, when you showed up to her bar. So I was like, all right, I guess I'll get up, get changed. You're the one up. that told me, hey, what are you doing tomorrow? I was going to invite you over to play video games. No, but then you were like, the Miles having Oh, that's true, yeah. That bagpipes. Was at, yeah, they had bagpipes at noon. Yeah, so we so missed no the bagpipes. no way we were going to yeah, make that. sucks, dude. Who does bagpipes at noon? The Royal Mile. It sucks. <laughs> so I ended up going out. Took me forever to find a place downtown. Yeah, because it was busy as hell. Because it was St. Patty's Day. Yeah. It was St. Patty's Eve, actually. And just 
walking through the crowds of just green. Yeah, and everybody, dude, I hated it. It, it St. Patty's Day might be the worst crowd of people. It's just all a bunch of douchey frat people or adults in, who in the morning. That's the yeah, that's true. It's a bunch of just shit. They're all wearing so green, like so much green. People are like green bandanas, and like, it's also always wild. Just the because it's basically a white pride holiday too. Oh, it is. Yeah. And that's what I don't understand. Like, why is this? It's just a drinking holiday because <laughs> that's all we got. Yeah. That Fourth of July. Yeah, but Fourth of July people don't go out, out, out and about. People go to parties. That's true. Yeah, and Fourth of July is fun. <laughs> It's fine. Fucking slurping down sl- glizzies. Slurping down glizzies. All right. Hot dogs? Sure. Fucking delicious. I'll take your word for it, bud. Speaking of hot dogs real quick. Yeah. I was cleaning out my parents' freezer. How many hot dogs were in there? No. <laughs> this is awesome, dude. <laughs> okay. I was cleaning out my parents' freezer because they just have a bunch of shit. They have so many expired foods, so, and sure. their freezer was just... I, I made it look so nice. But I found buried in the bottom a package of three hot dogs. Like, okay. like three packages of hot dogs. Yeah. Called Hebrew Nationals. Oh, hundred <laughs> percent Jewish hot dogs. I mean, like, I don't know, like, because kosher is important. It feels like kosher just really went hard on hot dogs for some yeah, reason. Yeah, I, I don't know why. But I was cleaning it out. And I was a little drunk, and I was like, "This is hilarious." <laughs> Hebrew Nationals. I did have some pretty good. Pretty sure, good. days like hot dogs. Well, I am. Yeah, um, but it was just no, so I n- funny. I don't understand. Like, I get what kosher means and how it pertains to other products. I don't understand why it goes so hard on. Yeah, hot I, don't, dogs. I don't know because I think it's like you can't mix meats or you can't have pork, so it but, might be an all beef hot but, dog but or something. Also, hot dogs like suck. But yeah, I mean, they're not they're good, good food. They're perfect for what they are. If you're buying a kosher only food, it's probably not going to be hot dogs, right? Yeah, like right. you're probably being really specific with what you're buying because you have to be, and you're not going to be like, oh, you want hot dogs, right? Yeah, if you think, you can't even mix them with mac and cheese, probably no, because you can't mix meat and dairy. Yeah, so. What's the point? I don't know. I no, I never understood why hot Hebrew dogs went so hard for hot oh, and dogs. Why do my parents have those? My parents are not Jewish. <laughs> no, they can buy any hot dog they want. Just like yeah. God intended. Why didn't they? God. Why, where's the ballpark? The Christian Franks? God. Yeah, the Christians in my attic. <laughs> That's what they didn't. I also never understood the whole when kosher went away, because like. Christians take basically everything from Judaism just with more. Yep. And it's not like Jesus was like, all right, no, now you can eat any hot dog. Like that, <laughs> That's not anything. what happened when Jesus came. Well, yeah. I think the Christians, they pick and choose. Well, yeah, they're absolute cherry pickers. <laughs> yeah, on that 100%, scenario. dude. They pick and choose. But going back to Saturday. I know like the words behind what St. Patrick's Day is for. Like, I think he, he went against the pagans, but also he drove snakes out and shit like that. I never actually knew what St. Patrick's Day is about. I just picture him as a leprechaun. Yeah, I don't know when they came in either. <laughs> well, are they real? No. So is Leprechaun like Ireland Santa? No, they still have Santa. Oh, that's but they, it's like a random short guy that has a pot of gold. It's like it has to do with like fairies and stuff like that. I like fairies. Yeah, like F A E fairies. Oh yeah, that's and big the, in like that the, culture. They're, um, what's the C word that they're all like a bunch of Ireland people? Celtics. Sure, Celtics yeah. or whatever. Yeah, Celtics. Yeah, because I've been to a bunch of like Celtic stores. Those are those are really cool. Okay, you know, and they got a bunch of like Irish things, like I don't know, four leaf clovers and green right. stuff, and yeah, all that Irish stuff. I don't know. I don't. I'm only like a tidge Irish. A what? I'm only like a tidge. Oh, a tidge. A tidge. Is that a word? It is now. T i g. Tig. I don't think it's that. Tig Notaro. <laughs> She's a comedian. There we go. <laughs> My brain is feeling weird from this pirate juice. I see that, and also. <laughs> Because of Bond and Bert. <laughs> I feel like I did a little bit of coke or something. <laughs> Just by putting on the jacket? <laughs> I didn't put it on. <laughs> <laughs> Just from being around the jacket. Yeah, I don't I don't know what you're talking about. For the audio listeners at home, Bond and Bert was wearing a different outfit. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> Alright, so we all went out for St. Patrick's Day. We met up at the Royal Mile, yes. which is the only place I need to drink nowadays. And also, Royal Mile is in an area in downtown that I hate. Yes. But it's a are, good spot in a shitty area. Yeah, because it's just all a bunch of frat bars and people being idiots. and People actually enjoying going out drinking and dancing and yeah, shit. It's like a bunch of like Where we clubs. like to drink and talk. Yeah, at a table. Yeah. What's her job? Tables. Tables. <laughs> but yeah, we go out. I'm trying to think of nothing like huge happened at first. Well, you signed up for this thing. Okay, so. Yeah, explain that. I'm not going to say out names because I'm mad at one of them right now. <laughs> um, but one of my friends that I hang out like once a month with, there's like three of us, and we always like plan ahead and put it on our calendar because we're all lit busy so we can see each other at least once a month. And so a few weeks ago, one of them was like, hey, do you want to go out for St. Patrick's Day? Day drinking is a Saturday. And I was like, yeah, I'll put it on my calendar because if I plan in advance, I can take the day off. And right. So I was like, okay, let's do that. And then the day before, she was like, okay, there's a bar crawl that you got to buy tickets for this thing. You can get free drinks. 
So I was like, okay, I don't have much money, <laughs> but I can afford to get this ticket. Yeah, with Ball and Bert's help. Yeah, with Ball and Bert's help. So I got this ticket, and at first, uh, she was like, let's meet downtown at 1.30 because we were day drinking. I was like, okay, that's fine. One thirty comes around. She's like, I'm not downtown yet. <laughs> Are and you I, downtown? And then so I got downtown around like 2. Okay. And she still wasn't downtown yet. And I was just like, I, I think I said a passive rest of text at this point. And I was like, I cleared the whole day for you. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> maybe a little bit aggressive, but I was kind of mad. But passive, luckily my sisters were in town and they came out with me. Because if it was just by myself, I would, that would have, I might yeah. not have even gone out. Right. Yeah. You know? Well, this is where I meet you guys too. Yeah. So we go to the Roma because I'm like, okay, that's a good place to go. Izzy was working. Yep. And then you showed up and I was like, fuck yeah. And then my friend Holly was coming out. So I was like, yeah, this would be great. Yeah. We would meet at the Roma. I'll hang out, have a few drinks, have a few lads. It'll be fun. <laughs> and it was fun. It was fun because <laughs> we had a group and my sisters came out. One of my sisters was like, yeah, I'll come out. And my other sister was like, I don't know if I want to. Yeah. And then she was like, okay, I'll come out for maybe a few drinks and then leave. <laughs> and then she ended up. Being, being the drunkest, the drunkest. <laughs> out of all of us, which was so fun because I think we all had a great day. I think so. I hope so. Yeah, it, it was so fun. Dude. Yeah, you got yelled at in the bathroom. It's fine. Yeah, that bathroom story happened on St. Patrick's Day. That's how we started the episode. <laughs> that that was wild. But like, so the check in for that burger wasn't until four. So we hung out the room mile, had a few drinks. Maybe I think we ordered food. Um, Probably yeah. And then we went to get this check in at the Hessen House, which is another bar in in the area. It's good German of, bar yeah, down good German the street. Bar. Massive line to this for this check in. And then it's like, oh, if you check in, you have a little thing on your badge. You get one free shot. Yep. But it, the line to get, to get drinks was so long. Yep. For just a shot. And it was impossible to get to the bar at this place because it's the St. Patty's Day crowd. Yeah, it was. And I was like, okay, but I got a free shot, you know, yeah. and I got some beads. And then we were like, well, the next freaking because it was like you could get a free drink at three bars during different time periods of the night. Yes. So it was like the next one, it doesn't start for another hour. So you want to go back to the Royal Mile? Right. Yeah. Because we would have to wait to go for you to go. So yeah, they try to like separate your drinking, but you get one shot and you have to wait two hours. Yeah. So then they want you to spend money at those bars probably. Well, because you couldn't go to the next one until seven. Yeah. I mean, you could go and hang out, but you couldn't sure. get the free drink until. <laughs> yeah. So we're like, let's go back to the Roma because I don't like the St. Patrick's Day crowd. Yeah. And I don't. And Roma is calmer. Or we can at least sit in a table and talk to each yeah. other. So we did that. And that was fun. Got a few drinks. And then we went back out. And then when we get to the second bar. Yeah, the second bar, for anyone from Des Moines might know, it's called the Tipsy Crow. This place sucks. Horrible bar. The owner's a piece of shit. We, like, usually refuse to go there because it's horrible and it's but like we they had have a free drink there yeah, so they we have like went. a giant like massive outdoor patio which is kind of cool but it was just fucking packed with a bunch of like college yeah it was a lot of college kids but this was my second free drink but you didn't even have a badge so it was just me and holly getting free yep. drink and you guys were just coming along for the ride yep and so we get up there's a long line we get up to the bar and we're like hey we have these and they're like we don't we're not doing that but like the website, this is where you go. And I'm like, and I'm like, yeah, but this is, it's, I paid for this thing to get, and they go, we'll give you a discounted drink. <laughs> okay. So we got a discounted drink that was actually pretty good. Well, very fruity. You but gave, I was also like, I paid 25 bucks for this bar crawl pass for some free drinks, and I don't know what else. What was your first shot that you got? I shot at a Jaeger. Which is not a third of $25. And also, that's, spoiler alert, that was the only free drink I got. <laughs> so I spent 25 bucks for green beads. This dumb badge and, and a shot, and a shot of Jaeger. And Fucking a night full of memories. I could have got, because I had like, that was like most of the money that I had at that point. Right. So I could have like actually gotten real drinks. Yep. Or had enough for real drinks. Uh, so that sucked. But I but I brought a flask with me. There you go. <laughs> and that's thanks to Ball and Bert. Yep. So a little tip from him. Yeah. And I pre-gamed. Ball, Ball and Bert's Bert. fucking balling out. <laughs> Did you steal any name tags? No. Oh, okay. It, that, that, a seems a, that seems yeah. a little. Well, also, most of the bars that we went to don't have name tags. That's so, true. So I don't know what you're talking about, Bond Bert. You're kind of an idiot. <laughs> yeah, how many of those do it? <laughs> just he just steals someone's shirt. Yeah, basically. Yeah, just be a shirt. <laughs> um. So we're like, okay, that sucks. And then there were two bar options for like the second tab, and we were like, okay, let's maybe try the second, well, second I have, bar. I have some notes about the first one that oh, we went yeah, to. The first one, yeah. Because the first one is you got your free drink. We also had a pen on us, so we were hitting that. Oh yeah, so I was feeling pretty good because well, I was like, I was drinking whiskey out of a flask. Yeah, had a few beers, and then also I was hitting a pen, so I was like feeling really. And it was a beautiful day out. Yeah, it was super nice out. But so me and your sisters, well, you guys were in line. We just 
we were standing next to a table. We're like, oh, we'll just sit here. We sat at a table full of drinks. Yeah, this table was a disaster. Yeah. Like, that's where everyone was putting their empty cups and empty beer bottles. I was just there stacking them, yeah. having a great I time. I turned around and, and, and Jacob was making a, a video of it. A beer tower. <laughs> and it was great. And then every time it fell over, beer that was just in the cans was spilling. Yeah. Well, a lady slapped it over, and I got so much of a stranger's oh, really? beer in my face. And she I was slapped like, it? Yeah. That's just, annoying. Well, it's a drunk woman yeah. in her, like, mid 20s. And yeah. She's like, this will be fun. Ah, it's yeah. my day. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Irish. But yes, we do that. We're hitting the pen. So I get very high here. And I did not expect to. And I can tell Jacob Sykes' eyes. Yeah. They're, and I looked over and I'm like, you're fucked up. Yeah, they're dude. bad. And then you gave me half of your drink, I think. because yeah. was, And that drink was fucking strong. It was good, though. Yeah. So now I'm getting pretty fucking drunk. And Jacob in the was like, of I'm not going to get drunk today. Well, I didn't. I plan on getting like lightly buzzed and keeping it throughout yeah, the day. Just like, enjoying a it. A good beer every place. But nope. I got fucked up at this one. <laughs> so me and your sisters are talking and fucking around and shit like Yeah, dude, building towers. Because also they're the funniest people. Yeah, they're, it's they're awesome. weird. <laughs> yeah, they're both they're both, up. they're both so different but similar. It mixes weird. Well, it's when I realize they're both Muppets. Yeah, hundred percent. And the way you said this to me is so Because the older sister, she just when she's drunk, she gets this voice and it's fucking hilarious. She's the voice of the Muppet. And then your other sister. She has no control over her arms. They yeah. are full extension or nothing. And then Every her time hair she moves. gets a little yeah. bushy. So she's so my sisters together are one Muppet. Yeah. One sister's the voice. <laughs> the, the, other the other one's one, the one working the arm. Yeah. The other one's. And it's when you pointed it out, like as we were leaving and walking, I was like, that's so funny. Yeah, they're both yeah. fucking Muppets. <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> I have Muppets for sisters. <laughs> <laughs> but then also they, the oh, fuck shipping off to Boston came on. Oh yeah. Yeah. And the moment started, I was like, all right, I'm gonna watch a bunch of white people get pumped and it is and that that is exactly what happened but then there was an interlude to a bunch of different songs but it's all all white people dance songs and then i remember noticing it that this is what gets white people hyped but also they're the best fucking songs yeah they are it got me i was getting hyped yeah Yeah. it's such a great place to be but also it stuck because some of the songs i was like i'm really digging this and then it just was a mashup into another song and i was like uh what but then it starts get you again it gets me again yeah so i i get it but at this point dude what is it Five o'clock. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. well, there was a moment where we were like, we were scared to look at what time it was because we've rather been here five minutes or an hour and a half. Yeah, and both make sense. But then we looked and it was thirty minutes. We're like, that doesn't make yeah. sense. What the hell? It's way too long and way too way short. Way too for short what's for, for what's been yeah. going on. And I remember the floor in that place, dude. So sticky. Well, that's the next place. No, where but this it was one really was also that. really yeah. sticky. Like <laughs> this was at least an outside, basically full patio, yeah. open door thing. Yeah, yeah, like like they're basically half the walls of the building are garage doors, so yes. they were all open. And but, like people outside were like playing bags and shit and. It's I like places like that, but I, this place sucks. Yeah, you it's know? just not a good it place. It just sucks. And I also I hate it it's so odd because I don't like going out on drinking holidays because yeah. people even though are we go out, even though we go out on New Year's. Yeah. Um but yeah, people just are so annoying and dumb. But also <laughs> I had fun, so Right. So now is where we go to the next bar, which is where your drink ticket yeah, is. Yeah, voodoo. Because they were this was the other option. And it's a place none of us have ever been. No, this is like a weird place where it's like a it's like a nightclub above. Well, and we also didn't know it was a nightclub. I didn't know it was a nightclub. We thought it was gonna be like a more hip bar. So we walk over there, uh, there's some drunk shit happening. <laughs> yeah, dude. Remember that guy? That's not here yet. This one is at the doors. Yeah, so it's oh, the, okay, the, okay. the guy that yells. Yeah, so yeah. a guy <laughs> leaves the bar and he Calls the security guard the D word. I don't know what yeah, the, the, the lesbian hate the, word. Yeah, lesbian slur. Yeah, and calls her a cut and stuff. And then immediately I'm like, oh shit, because yeah, both my sisters <laughs> are very gay, but also very drunk and very and loud. My older one is she's not. A, she's she, not scared. She's not scared. Yeah, she's the one that opened the front door when there was knocking. Yeah, <laughs> and so she immediately just starts yelling. At this guy, you can't say, and he's yelling back, and like they're going back and forth. I'm like, god damn it, because that means that you and I have to get beat up for yeah, her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because, and like. He was in the wrong, but there's also times where I'm like, he's leaving. He lost already. Just, Just let, let him go. walk away yeah, pissed off. I don't need to correct his grammar. Let him be a piece of shit. But then she starts doing that. I'm like, God damn it. But then luckily the security guard comes out and she threatens to arrest him and he runs yeah, away. It, it, it was a pretty power, badass. This is a powerful yeah. woman. She came out yeah. and it was just like, she and, and you and in I the was bathroom. like, holy crap. I'm in love. Too bad she's definitely a lesbian. Yeah. 100%. yeah. She was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but. I'm into it. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> See, if that if she would have banged on the door, I would have been like, "Hello." Yeah. No, actually, I would have acted the same way. Yeah, because grabbed I, her. Because I teach would, you a lesson. No, I would have acted. I mean, in the bathroom. Right. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. If she would have banged on the door, I would have been like, Ugh, and then she'd come up small. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't like that. 
<laughs> it doesn't make me feel good. <laughs> also, why does that lady have such giant strap-ons? I don't know. She was very aggressive. I know. But maybe she likes... I mean, if that's how she acts in the men's bathroom... That's true. Imagine how she acts in the bedroom. That's true. Yeah, very that's demeaning. anyone's allowed in there. <sighs> she's not in mine. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't need don't that energy. Please don't come over to my yeah. apartment. Maybe she's the one that was banging the night before. <laughs> <laughs> Let me fuck you. Let me see your small dick. <laughs> Mr. Strap-on's bigger. <laughs> God, that's so scary. No. It's a 12 inch piece of plastic. Not a fan. Ugh. Yeah. It's just like, you could kill somebody with that. You could. Makes you think of a clock of orange. He kills the lady with the penis statue. Oh, true. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry about that. Hey, that's fucked up. Yeah. Just. Jesus. <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, we go from your sister's fighting this strange man in the. In like the walkway, and it, mind you, it's there's a line again in this bar, and it's still daytime. Yeah, it's seven something. No, no it's not even. No, it's seven now. Okay, because yeah, we had, so, yeah, it had to yeah, be seven versus so, yeah. so probably like seven fifteen. Yeah, and it's daytime, <laughs> night. Well, the, the, it's still light out, and people are fucked up. I mean, yeah. we are fucked up too, but right. But then we corral them into this place, and then it turns out fucking night club it's a nightclub so it's pitch dark in there there's like fog machines going people da- there's a dance floor yep. packed it and then carpet fully carpeted <laughs> fully carpeted sticky spongy it's horrible like you're like stepping on it like Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. like it's like what is this and i am not a fan of nightclubs i that's no. just not for me anymore i mean sometimes if i'm in the right mood i'm like let's dance but like not here not this day yeah yeah so I think we all walk around to kind of where the bathrooms are, and you have your thing happen. Yeah. And then you go off with your sisters, but Holly's still in the bathroom, so I'm waiting for yeah, her. Yeah, there was a line for the women's, and yeah. I immediately was well, able to go. you heard why. Yeah. So <laughs> the women threatening them all. <laughs> but I'm standing by the wall by the bathrooms, and, these, and I'm just kind of like posted up, and like four drunk women keep yelling at me, why aren't I dancing? What? I didn't yeah, know, I didn't about, this. You about, I didn't this, know yeah. about this part. They just keep coming over and like, why aren't you dancing? Are you having a good time? And I'm just like, I'm I'm waiting for a friend in the bathroom. What? Like, I thought I had a good what? excuse to not do stuff. They're yeah. mad at you because you're they not They keep dancing? coming over and they're like, is there a problem? I'm like, no, it's fine. What? I'm just, I'm waiting for someone because also I didn't want to be in the crowd. I was really just posted against <laughs> you're the just wall. Wait, like, you're like, I'm just here so they can get their drink and then we can leave. Yeah. <laughs> And God. then Holly finally comes out and then we meet you. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I think that's hilarious. Yeah. I wouldn't know what to do in that situation. I'd be like, uh, what do but you want from it me? It was a lot tamer than your situation, at least at this point. Yeah, but why are people so aggressive? Yeah. Like even that's why why does a group of women have to I get like maybe one girl coming up where you want to dance. It wasn't not, it wasn't do you want to dance with this? It's like, why the fuck aren't you dancing? You should dance. Dance right now, monkey. <laughs> <laughs> that's how it, just Ugh. Oh, let's God. fucking get out of here yeah. so we, you guys try to get your drinks so we try to get our drinks with this fucking free drink thing and i go i've not wait, free drink thing I, 25 bucks yeah i wait in line and then i get to the front and i i'm like here i'm here for this thing because it's like a weird clover yeah and he's like no we're not we're not doing that and i was like what, what? do you mean you're not doing why that? did the website say you were yeah both bars said no yeah so oh. i <laughs> they said problems bars not Serving or whatever, yeah. complain to us. So I'm going to complain. Yeah, try and to hopefully get some, get some money, money back. back. Yeah, because I'm going to keep fighting it because I'm broke. Yeah, might as well. And Can that's that's one of Ball and Bird's secrets, actually. Yeah, I paid for the VHS thing. Okay, it's complain. Customer, you get money customer back. service. Yeah, yeah. it complain actually to- it works. I bet it does. That's how Karens have money. That's true. Like because they enjoy their time and then they get money back for it. <sighs> See? God, it's just not worth it. I know, but it but, will be for this. Well, it's kind of like how people like just steal from like Walmart all the time. Like, I'm not like morally against it because Walmart isn't real. Like, it doesn't it matter. Isn't real, but like you know what I mean. Yeah. Like, it's not um like a small shop. But also, I just can't do it. Yeah, I can't I steal. Yeah. I mean, I did growing up a little bit, but yeah, I don't. My sister is still kind of do it, and I'm just like, <laughs> God, that's not worth it. Yeah, especially because you're an adult. Yeah, you can actually get in trouble now, but no one does anymore. But also, I feel yeah, like people, I'll just be let little, it, people just let it happen. Nowadays. It's wild. I don't understand it. We, we're living in the wild, wild west. Apparently, we need to we need to start setting up some vending machines that have scuds there in them. Go. Yeah. <laughs> Disposable assassins, baby. But then something else happens as we're leaving this place. Yes, yeah, so, so this place none is of us get drinks here, right? No. Yeah. No. Yeah. None of us do. I'm just drinking out of my flask, and then yeah. I think we're hitting the pen. Sure. Because it's so smoky in there, it doesn't fucking matter. Yeah, mix it with the fog machine. And I just drink. What's wild is sometimes I just drink the flask in public, and nobody noticed. Yeah. I did that at the Royal Mile right in front of you, and you didn't even notice. Nope. And I'm like, oh, wow. People don't care. <laughs> even though you're not allowed to because it's open container. Yeah. I was also doing it in the street, so that's yeah. Fun. Oh, well. <laughs> but yeah, so in trouble. as we're leaving this club, you see something happen with your sister. 
Yeah, so the so the bouncer, the security guard that was initially in the fight when we came in, was like saying bye to us, you know, and she was like, have a good night. And then my sister goes, you two with finger guns. And as she does it, fucking falls down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> like, like she like trips over herself and falls. And like, but it's, it was so funny because she's like, you too, but she's so drunk. <laughs> yeah. And then the finger guns on top of that was like, I'm sure the security guard was like, Jesus yeah. Christ. It's eight o'clock. Yeah. It was so fun. And then we're like, well, back to the Royal Mall. Yeah, yeah. So we're walking back and we cut through this alley. Oh, yes, the alley. Oh, my God. Because I'm like, this alley takes us straight there. We and don't have to walk around. It's not a scary alley at all. It's not sketchy whatsoever. No. It's it's the size of a one way street. It's, yeah, too. It's, just, yeah, it's, it's not even small. And then some yeah. people park in there. Yeah. yeah. But we're walking through and you and I both clock this. And my first reaction is like, make sure your sisters don't yeah. because they're going to get involved. But there was a man getting beat the shit out of by three other dudes yeah so like and they're, I, they're all big dude like yeah they're all they're all manly men yeah, yeah. so yeah. one you and i couldn't do anything in this situation either but but like it was three guys versus one and yeah. i like i i saw them fighting and then i see one of the guys punch this guy in the face right in the face, right in which, the face which i've never seen a real fight it's a weird thing to Where, see and yeah. then this guy if I could punch in the face, I'd probably drop. No, this guy took it and then kept yelling back. Yeah, like, like it was, and it was a real punch. And yeah. I was like, "Oh shit!" Yeah, it's like they're both like face to face, but there's three on one side, so they're just pushing him yeah, back. They're, they're like and they're him. getting fighty. Yeah, so they're 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 pushing him back as so like they're towards pushing us. towards us as we're walking. Yep. And it was like, "Oh shit!" I'm just trying to corral your sisters away. Yeah, from don't me. look, don't look, yep. don't look. Just keep walking, keep walking. Luckily, there was like a weird like chain fence, so they kind of stopped there. Yeah. But he was trying to climb over it. But dude, I witnessed like initially when I first saw him punch in the face, and I was like, yeah. "Oh shit!" Yeah, this could get out of control quick. Real bad. We can't. I don't do know anything. what happened after that, but probably nothing great. Yeah. I don't know what the issue was. And yet. again, still daytime. Like, yeah, the sun was still probably up. Eight o'clock. Yeah. That's what's so wild about, man, I, I don't get like people can't control themselves. I, yeah. Like I, I can day drink and get drunk and have a great time. Yeah. I don't get fucking, st I mean, I get stupid in my own way, but I don't get like, you and I just are angry or, or dumb start issues. Yeah. Yeah. Like I just, I like to have a good time and I also know how to pace myself. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so like it's, I don't get it. Like there's so many people that just get so fucked up so quick. <laughs> that I maybe know <laughs> this gets so fucked up so quick and then they just are done and I'm like what and, the hell yeah, they can't do a bar crawl that they invited everybody to yeah so mad about it yeah because completely ghosted yep yeah. like we didn't even I didn't even see her at all she didn't respond she didn't respond to text or calls to like for like six hours yeah because it was point, her plan I think we had another drink and some dinner at the bar and then we headed out we were done by like 10. Yeah, which was nice. It Cause was. Because that's, that's an old person way to do it. Yep, because Izzy took me home. <laughs> and then you took her to the bed. Sure. I mean, we slept that night, yeah. Sexy time. Not really. Oh, <laughs> Both drunk. <laughs> Jake was like, it don't work anymore. No. <laughs> Jake was like, hey, you want me to bust out the, the plastic dildo? <laughs> the giant strap on? The one that's bigger than mine. It's bigger than Robert's. <laughs> and yours, probably. Probably. If, if she's openly bragging about it, yeah, I'd imagine yeah, if so. It's, if it's bragging, braggable well, and bigger than you can buy a two-footer. Yeah, like double-headed. I mean, I'm sure they make it for every size imaginable. I mean, I remember in high school, there was a guy. He was weird. I don't remember what his name is, but I was kind of friends. He was like friends with people that I was in a friends group with. Sure. But he had a two-foot-long double-headed dildo, and he would like wear it in his sleeve. And then smack people with it. Okay. And he would like get like the end wet like from the water fountain and then hit him with it so it was wet. Sounds like not great dude. Yeah, it was yeah. not fun. But I was just like, what are you, you're just walking around school with a dildo in your yeah, arm? Yeah, because he thinks it's funny. I, I, I have. High school people are. I did see that dildo. I know who you're talking yeah, you know about. Yeah. I don't remember who he was. No, I can picture his face though. Yeah. He was, that was weird. But that was our weekend. And that was, <laughs> it was fun. Um, And also. That has been a moist Monday. <laughs> Drinking this pirate water, <laughs> having it, a, not horrible. Yeah, not bad actually. The more I drink it, the more I'm like feeling. It's fine. Yeah. I'm sure if you had a few of these, your hangover would probably suck. Yeah, I think they're probably pretty high sugar. Pretty high sugar, but probably I'm guessing there's a little bit of rum in it. I'm assuming because it's pirate water. You'd think so. But I don't um, know. I don't know. But make sure before we go, we got some plugs. Make sure you watch In Search of Doctor Seuss. Yes, for the moist movie of the month. Yes, get your submissions in because. Um, it's getting close to the end of the month already. Yeah. Click below to search the term moist to make moist the word, word of, of the, the year, year which 2024. is 2024. Dude, our podcast would blow up if it was word of the year. Probably. Yeah. That'd be awesome. It's that's in moist Monday podcast episode 1023 <laughs> word of the year. 
You think <laughs> it's going to take it 900 more? Can you imagine if we have a thousand episodes? That'd take... We become like Joe Rogan. Yeah. Well, if we start doing five a week, he does them every day. Yeah. I know. But that would be, I mean, at that point, you got to be big. You'd think so. Or we're just doing this and or it accumulates. And enough. We just keep it getting the same views. Yeah. But eventually. But overall, that's a lot of views. That's true. And overall, still alcoholics. Yeah. Because <laughs> they're still drinking. Keeping it moist. Uh, but make sure you follow us on Instagram, TikTok, Threads, and X. Yep. Moist Monday Podcast. Get subscribe to us on YouTube. On X. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Moist Monday Podcast. Send us an email. Moist Monday Podcast at gmail.com. That's the one. They're all the same names. I don't know Rate why. Us you... Five stars on everything you can. On everything. Spotify. Like and subscribe at everything else. Spotify are still five star podcasts. 20, 20, we're five star men. Yeah, we're five star men. Hitting the town. We're on the hunt for some cut. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Thanks for listening, everybody. Bye. Bye, everybody. Dry bones, lazy bones, big bones, dance around in your bones. I like how you don't like my <laughs> I'm already not excited.